modern tram riding on a track late in the grass is really beautiful. But many people consider green tram tracks only as a decorative element, while in fact they are much more useful than it might seem at the first glance. It's interesting to note that the first green tram tracks appeared in Berlin back in 1905. However, development of technologies at that time didn't allow proper maintenance, so grass was removed quite soon. But in the 1980s the idea was revived and now green tram tracks can be found in lots of tram cities. So why are they so good and what benefits are they bringing? A metal wheel rolling along a rail is a source of noise. If there is a flat, hard surface around the rails, the sound waves are reflected and spread in the air. But if the space around the rails is filled with vegetation, it will absorb some of the noise and the street will become calmer. Studies show that the noise level reduction can be from 2 to 4 dBA compared to tracks covered with the crushed stone. And I suppose that this difference would be even more significant with tracks in the pavement. Our streets are often too noisy, which is harmful to health, so every opportunity to reduce noise is very valuable and important. So the greenery near the tracks helps a lot with this. Another big problem of cities is that huge surfaces are covered with materials that don't allow water to pass through. When there is a pure asphalt, concrete and paving stones all around, there is simply no place for water to go and it just runs along the streets. Of course, there should be a storm drainage system, but its capacity is not unlimited. And if a month amount of rain falls in an hour, the drainage won't be able to deal with it. Due to climate change, this is happening more and more often, so many cities are gradually switching to the concept of sustainable drainage or so-called sponge city concept. This means that cities have to create as many water absorbing surfaces as possible to reduce the load on drainage systems. In simple words, the urban environment should become as similar to the natural one as possible and most of the rainfall should be absorbed by the soil and plants. In this context, the greenery around the tram tracks is exactly what we need. It's able to retain a lot of water, which makes the city much more resistant to weather extremes. In addition, the moisture accumulated in the greenery will gradually evaporate after the rain ends, making the streets microclimate more pleasant and lowering the temperature. Besides the problems with the drainage, our cities are also areas of high heat. Asphalt, concrete and paving stones get very hot in the sun and the streets become terribly uncomfortable. Green tram tracks significantly reduce the heating of the street surface and make its microclimate more livable. And this cooling effect is also beneficial for the rails themselves as it reduces the risk of their bending due to overheating. Street vegetation is also very important for improving air quality and reducing air pollution. Trees are usually the most promising in this regard, but lawns also contribute by recycling CO2 and trapping dust. And since reducing CO2 levels is one of the most important climate challenges, green tram tracks are very useful for this. The more greenery on the street, especially a specific one to a particular region, the better. That improves urban biodiversity and creates conditions for useful insects, birds and lots of other species. Of course, nothing is perfect and there are also some minuses of the green tracks. For instance, greenery needs much more careful and high-quality maintenance than ordinary paving or asphalt. To keep the grass looking good, it needs to be watered during the heat and trimmed. However, this process can be somewhat simplified if you plant more durable and less demanding plants that are suitable for the local climate. For example, instead of demanding lawn grass that needs to be trimmed and watered regularly, you can use mosses and succulents or so Moorish lawn. Such a coating will look much more natural, diverse and require less maintenance. Ideally, plants should grow and develop on their own. This approach is much more reliable and sustainable. Although it's clear that periodic watering and fertilization will be quite helpful. The usage of green tracks means that other vehicles will no longer be able to use these lanes. For example, you can't run regular city buses there. RM Transit Channel proposes to use perforated concrete tiles with grass in the holes for that, but in my opinion this is not a very good solution. This concrete will get very hot in the sun, which will cause the plants to get burned 
sand and feel not very good. In fact, it will still look more like a concrete surface, which will only be a little bit better at water absorbing. Although at the same time, a lightweight reinforcement can be used to allow emergency vehicles to pass through. From what I've seen, in such cases, bus lanes are either arranged nearby on the street or the tracks are paved to make a lane for combined tram and bus traffic. Which way to choose depends on the specific situation. Another issue is the operation of service vehicles with the ability to drive on the tracks. For this purpose they should be additionally equipped with tram buggies. Because if service trucks will start driving on the grass it will be damaged and turn into a mud quite quickly. And you surely don't want that to happen. And also important thing is the good physical condition of the trams themselves. Because if oil leaks from their transmissions onto the grass it won't look good. And and last but not the least point that will be decisive for many cities is the price. It is more expensive to make green tracks with an irrigation system than to simply fill them with gravel. And for some cities this may be a critical argument. So green tracks make city not only good looking but also more comfortable, quieter and more resistant to climate change. That's why cities should use this approach as much as possible when developing their tram networks. And I think it's worth the additional costs.